Hello and welcome to Quilt Addicts Anonymous. I'm Stephanie Sabine. Today we're going to bring you every single Christmas video tutorial we have ever done. So if you are still thinking you might be able to get some holiday projects done, you can get some inspiration in this one. 10 of the patterns are free. So you can get going on it right now with things that you have in your stash, but we also have a good chunk of holiday fabric still available, including the fabulous collection behind me, Noelle from Figo Fabrics. So you can get some stuff. We've been shipping in like one to two business days. So we have got a lot of people in right now to make sure you can get your orders quickly and going on there. One quick note on that though, if you have an item that is back ordered, we ship complete. So if you want to make sure you get everything right away and you have something that's back ordered in your item, get that separate because otherwise we're going to hold everything for you. So, all right. Now, without any further ado, every single holiday project we have ever done. We're going to start off with the tree mug rug. This is a scrappy Christmas tree mug rug. I, you guys love the mug rugs. And I came out with this a couple of years ago. It uses up your holiday scraps. So if you've already made a quilt or a Christmas stocking or whatever, just grab a bunch of greens, grab some reds, grab a good background, and you can get this together. It is really a fun project. They make great gifts, and they're also really fun to just have out out around the holidays so when you have guests over and they're having their coffee and their cookies it is just a nice little mat to put everything on and hold all their goodies the scrappy christmas tree mug rug is one of the free downloads that you can grab next up we have the snowflake mug rug this is another free pattern and yes i know it's not a snowflake it's supposed to be a snowball mug rug but the internet is forever and by the time i realized my mistake in misnaming the block it was too late it was already out there in the world so this one is also a good one for working with your scraps or if you have a charm pack that is holiday themed and is kind of in the blue color way this also works really well for that you're going to need some white background to have that snowball effect but essentially you're just making a bunch of four patches and then throwing some half square triangles on the side it's really simple to make and that free pattern makes it really easy and again perfect for gifts or to just have out as part of your holiday decor. So when your guests come over, they have something to put their coffee on, their hot chocolate, and their holiday cookies. All right, this is the last mug rug that we're going to be featuring. It is Ornament Collection. We came out with this one when we did Quiltmas in July earlier this year. This is a paid pattern because it also has instructions for how to make this into multiple sizes of quilts. I know I have a collection that I haven't done anything with from Ripel Paper Company that I wanna make this with. This is a project that's perfect for fussy cutting because you can get your favorite little prints to be in the center of that ornament and and it really shows off all of your favorite holiday prints really well. And it looks like it's just, you know, in your little storage box and you get excited every year. And like, I don't know about you guys, but my family has a tradition of getting new ornaments of whatever the person is into for that year. We went and got those the other day for my family and we have some Cocoa Melon and some Harry Potter and some knitting and of course, a line eye football for my husband. So I love doing this and I think it would be really fun to personalize and we also still have mug rug kits and a full quilt kit left for that and you can get that over at shop.quiltaddictsanonymous.com all right, next up is the double oven mitt. If you're a fan of the Great British Baking Show, then you know what this style of oven mitt is. I love mine because it is always where I need it, hanging over the handle of the oven. So it's always there and it looks pretty and I have just an everyday one and then I also have my seasonal one that is nutcracker themed and I just love it. It's so great to use. You've got both oven mitts right there and ready to go. And the pattern for this is also free and we also also just got in a bunch of insole bright. It was back ordered forever, but we have it available now. So you can use your own fabrics and we're going to be coming out with some kits a little bit later in the month. Next up is Ghost of Christmas Past. This was one of the original patterns that I designed back before we had a store. So we designed it to go with a fabric exchange. So this is really great to use up those Christmas scraps, which is why it's called Ghost of Christmas Past, because you can take all your scraps from all your different projects and make one from it. Actually, my original one is from a quilt that I've got all 64 blocks done and ready to go together, but I just have not taken the time in the past eight, nine, years to actually put them together and someday I need to make that happen but I 
don't think it's going to be this year. But they are gorgeous and it's so fun to work with. And it's really very simple. It's just a bunch of half square triangles. And because we're going to always alternate the red next to a green with a block layout, you can have a whole bunch of different greens and reds in there because they're never going to be touching. So it doesn't matter if all the reds match and if all the greens match, you can just put them all in there, have a riot of color, a nice white background, and you're good to go. All right, next up, we have a bunch of Christmas stockings. We're gonna start with a super simple Christmas stocking. If it is Christmas Eve and you just need a stocking for the new family member that has joined this year, I've been there. Uh, this is the one to do. You just need two half yards of your focus fabric, about a quarter yard for your sleeve and hanger, and then a half yard for your lining. And usually you can get away with scrap batting to make that fluffy. And it's a great option for showing off those prints. This pattern is also free. And again, we've got tons of Christmas yard aids that you can choose from over at shop.quiltaddictsanonymous.com. Next up, we have the Charm Pack Christmas stocking. I know you guys like to collect these things. And what you can do is just put it together. It is just a bunch of four patches that you're gonna sew together from your Charm Pack. And wherever things end up is wherever they end up. It's a nice scrappy one. I like to use a nice white fabric for the top on this one. It really sets it off well. The pattern is free over at shop.quiltaddictsanonymous.com. All right, the last of the Christmas stockings is the Quilt As You Go Christmas stocking. So this one, you're going to take a jelly roll or two and a half inch strips that you cut from yardage, and you are just going to do quilt as you go on your stocking on a diagonal. So that way you're really easy, able to just flip and sew on all of those, get a really fun um, looking stocking from this. And one jelly roll will get you two stockings. So you can get a coordinated set. So you've got a couple or two kids where they're gonna fight over it. We know we've all been there and this works really well for that. The pattern is free and this could be a great one to go check out our remnant section for some holiday fabrics that you could use for that. Next up, we have the quilt as you go tree skirt. We did this tutorial last year and you guys could not get enough of it. You guys absolutely loved it. We do have two kits left. And so if you want, you can pick up some of those or you can just get the batting that's pre-printed. So that way you just know where everything needs to get lined up. You just gotta cut your wedges and then you're gonna stitch and flip all the way around. I will tell you, you wanna make sure you use kind of a narrow seam allowance on this because you don't want to go too big and then you're gonna need an extra wedge at the end and they won't all be the same size. But I really like it. I think it was a really fun project. Our team had a good time doing it and that tutorial will help walk you through it. So again, grab one of, or both of our kits that we have left or get batting and some yardage and you will be good to go. Next up, we have the Jelly Roll Tree Skirt. This is a free pattern where you are able to make a tree skirt using a Jelly Roll of your choice. I actually just saw someone shared on social media and tagged us that they cut up a bunch of yardage of Rifle Paper Company from one of their holiday lines and are making it from there and it is stunningly gorgeous. So if you don't have a strip roll handy, you can always make your own by getting a couple of half yards of your favorite fabrics from whatever fabric collection makes you happy and you can make something from there. We use strip piecing to make this go together and we're kind of offsetting things so that way you're able to get it together a lot faster than you think. This is a far more intense project than the quilt as you go tree skirt so I think it took me about eight hours to do mine from start to finish including the quilting and our tutorial series walks you through all of it. So the first one is all about piecing and then our second one one is how I quilted it on my home sewing machine. And my third one is on how to do bias binding so that way it folds nicely around the edges and the center uh, circle. So if you, that's something that you're interested in, go check it out. This is the pattern that I have under my tree every year because I just love it. I love how it turned out. And it is just always exciting to put that under the tree and know that I made it. So go check it out, free pattern over at shop.quiltaddictsanonymous.com. 
All right, now we're gonna move on to some quilting stencils that are perfect for your holiday creations. These work on the mug rugs, they work on quilts, obviously. They, you can use them on your Christmas stockings if you choose to quilt them before you sew them together. The possibilities are pretty endless. So we're gonna start with the Christmas light stencil. I love this one, it looks so cute. Some of my first ones that I did look more like figure eights, but as you get a little bit more confident, they do look like little old fashioned retro light bulbs just floating all over your quilt. It's a great one for using a single white thread to go all over because it just looks like twinkling lights and then fades into the background. All of our stencils, by the way, are from Full Line Stencil. We have an entire quilting series that shows you how to quilt on your home sewing machine or long arm using them, and then how to modify them later so you can create some really cool creations and make each quilt custom and unique and finish more of them at home. I love them because it's essentially like a screen printing situation where you're going to transfer the chalk through the lines of the stencil and then you have a full line to follow as opposed to the dotted dash ones that are plastic that you get at the store. So it works really well and I'm able to create a lot of designs that I wouldn't otherwise be able to stitch out because they are too complicated for me to execute without a line to follow. And speaking of stencils that are way too hard for me to freehand without that stencil, the Christmas Star is a good one. This one is very fancy. It is gorgeous. It is beautiful. It is not hard if you are sort of a confident beginner slash intermediate quilter. You just kind of have to go slow as you're following the lines all around. And it just looks absolutely stunningly gorgeous when you are all done. Our final Christmas stencil that we're going to highlight today is the Holly stencil. I love this one. I used it on a table runner for my mom and it is so pretty when it's all done. You would think it's harder than it is, but it really is not that different than the swirl motion as you are swooping around those holly leaves. So it really actually goes fairly simply. I do recommend anytime you're doing a stencil that you give it a go on some scrap fabric first until you feel comfortable before you do it on your main quilt because then you can just sort of get the kinks out and get the muscle memory going in your hands and then you're good to go. But I will give you a hint. Most of the time when I am quilting on these tutorials, I'm quilting that stencil for the very first time. So if I can get it to look like I do on my first go, I think you guys are going to be able to get it with a little bit of practice. Next up, we have the quilt as you go placemats. Now, I think we have not actually done this in holiday fabrics. I think we've only done it in Halloween fabrics, but it looks great at any time of the year and it's great and easy project that you can even do with your kids. I This was the first project my daughter ever sewed. She was five years old and we just did stitch and flip on the home sewing machine with your walking foot. And the best part about them is as you sew your strips on, since it's quilt as you go, you also are quilting at the the same time. So once you're done with your placemat, you just have to trim it down and get the binding on and you are good to go. Now these are great to use with strip rolls or you can cut two and a half inch strips from your fabric and you also will be good to go. You can get a set of four placemats and a table runner from one strip roll or you can get uh, a set of eight, I believe it is, if you are just doing the placemats. I really love these, it may be six. You have to check out the pattern. It's free, you don't risk anything by downloading it. So, and it's a super fast make and something that you can make with your kids and then they can be proud eating on it at the holiday season. Next up, we have the Charm Pack Table Runner. I made so many of these when I was a new quilter because they're fairly simple and straightforward. We actually have a new team member who is working on his first project and it's this one because you just have to get that quarter and seam down and you can get two small table runners from one Charm Pack or one large one from one Charm Pack. So it's either two for one or just one big one. And they're great because once you get them sewn together, you can easily quilt it on your home sewing machine with just a walking foot and then you bind it and you're done. So they make fast gifts or if you're a newbie and you just want to share your love of quilting with someone, this works. So again, you can use some yardage that you cut up or you can use some charm packs. Either way, you're going to have a lot of fun and really hone that quilting skill set if you are new. And again, that pattern is totally free. 
All right, our last project is one of my favorites. It is the French seam pillowcase. Do not let the French seam part scare you. It's just a fancy term for sewing a seam twice, so that way you don't have any raw edges on the inside. So this is a great way to make a pillowcase where it's gonna hold up very well over time if you don't have a serger. Because a lot of times, you know, like when you're sewing, you end up with all those little thread tails going everywhere and you wouldn't be able to wash it, it would just fall apart. This way, all those raw edges get encased inside the seam the second time you sew it. And so it's gonna last for a very, very long time. And we love doing these. I, I love making them for my kids. I've made themed ones for other occasions, like my sister's bachelorette party. And I made a Harley Davidson one for my brother-in-law that he still uses like more than a decade later. So these are really fun to have in your linen closet to pull out. And especially if you just made a quilt, this is a great way to give something a little special to go with it. I know sometimes people will gift the quilt inside of the pillowcase so that is kind of fun as well so this is a really good option for you guys and the pattern is free and the again you can grab some fabric from our Christmas section or check out some of the other fabrics that might go with a quilt you made this year that you might be gifting or just some novelty prints I know we still have some unicorns if you're making something for a little kid there's lots of options there well, thanks so much for following along with me today as we broke down all Christmas tutorials we've ever had. Again, 10 of those come with free patterns. Many of them we still have kits available for. We're gonna be putting some new ones out for soon. So I hope this inspires you. We wanted to get it out early in the month so you guys had some time to actually make it happen. I know I have plenty of items still on my to make list for this holiday season. I personally am working on a bitty baby wardrobe for my youngest daughter because she loves her baby, but we just don't have that many clothes for it. So we've gotta fix that. I would love to see what you guys are making. Make sure you tag us on social media. We are at Quilt Addicts Anonymous at all the places, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube now you can tag us there. So that's super fun. All right, until next time, happy quilting.